My name is Kim Williams, Marketing Assistant for Cornerstone Autism Center. Join me as I spend a day with an amazing Cornerstone kiddo. So when Chase was diagnosed at two and a half years old with autism, of course there's a lot thrown at you. You have to be a specialist in autism almost overnight. We came here for the first intake meeting and really from the get-go you just kind of know that Cornerstone is the place that, that you want your child to be. We brought Chase back in and he met the therapist almost instantly. They, they went right to him. We just knew that your son's going to be in good hands. Chase is non-vocal and communicates with an augmentative and alternative communication device. This device has allowed him to express his wants and needs and interact with those around him. Communication was just a, a huge barrier. Chase really lost his speech after he was about two and a half years old. Chase was so frustrated because he wanted to do something, but he just didn't have a way to tell me how he wanted to do it. So that was his primary tool for communication here at Cornerstone. And then that transitioned to the house. I was on the couch and he brings over his crowns and his construction paper over to me. And he picks his device up and he says, can you draw a truck? So that's really the, the first time in five years or six years that you hear your, your son's voice and it's through that software. I just couldn't imagine where Chase would be today or where, really where we would be today without Cornerstone. As Chase begins his transition into school, he has been taking part in multiple group activities throughout the day. In his time at Cornerstone, Chase has gained developmental milestones along with self-help and daily living skills. Such skills include preparing his own lunch. He also had little interest in reinforcing activities. Now he enjoys building with Legos, playing in the motor room, and coloring, just to name a few. How about the papers? In the past year, Chase has gained prerequisite skills to function in a less intrusive classroom setting where he is now able to write with a pencil, sit at a desk, raise his hand, and answer questions in settings with peers. Four. Yeah! Chase told us that there are four ornaments on the six and a half years and I've lost track but I want to say 30 plus therapists and for everybody that's been involved in helping Chase grow. We just can't thank you enough. He graduates January 3rd and it's, it's going to be a sad day. He'll be okay. I'm sure when your child leaves the Cornerstone family it doesn't mean that here's his graduation date they're done. Ellie, she went and met with the school with us. She's going to give them all kinds of information to kind of help this transition go smoothly. That just speaks to the, the level of commitment.